Hey folks, welcome to Solarpunk Station, where we're building regenerative futures. I'm Navar, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about timekeeping. Our modern methods of timekeeping have changed our relationship with the world around us, giving us more precise measurements for science, but also abstracting us further from the natural world. I think it's time we looked at how a solar punk future can incorporate a saner method of chronometry. Our Neolithic ancestors lived and moved according to the rising and setting of the sun and the cycle of the different seasons. Before the widespread adoption of the clock, we also slept in segments instead of all the way through the night. But with the rise of the train, time zones were invented to keep people on track to their destinations. Now some people have suggested returning to local time based on solar noon and setting any cross-border meetings according to Universal Coordinated Time, or UTC. Not having to run calculations every time I had a meeting that wasn't in Eastern Time would be great. Don't even get me started on my feelings toward Daylight Savings Time other than the switch is bad. On the calendar front, there have been several attempts at calendar reform to the Gregorian calendar, including the French Revolutionary calendar, the World Season calendar, and the International Fixed Calendar, or IFC, amongst many, many others. The IFC is my personal favorite, and it features 13 months of 28 days each, resulting in a weekly layout that is the same every month. You may have noticed that switching from February to March, that the first 28 days of March all line up on the same week as they did in February, which would be handy. You'd always know what number day went to which day of the week, and you wouldn't have to ask your voice assistant or look it up. So in this system, you have one or two extra days, depending on whether it's a leap year. So you have year day and leap day, which have been proposed as holidays. One of the off-sided problems with the IFC is the constant... Friday the 13th into perpetuity. This is only really a problem if you use the IFC as it was originally contrived though, since it's not an ISO standard Monday start to your week. It starts on a Sunday. So if you shift that very first day of the month to Monday, then you don't have Friday the 13th anymore. Let me know in the comments whether you have a particular favorite calendar system. I know in the article on my blog one person was pretty excited about a four season calendar which apparently they use in Stardew Valley but also the world seasons calendar proposed by Isaac Asimov uses this four month system. So be sure and check out some of the links below to different calendar systems. Let me know if you think it would be good to change the calendar or if we should just stick with the Gregorian calendar because it's good enough or for some reason, you actually think it makes more sense than one of these alternatives. Thanks for stopping by, everybody, and I hope you have a great day, and we will see you next time. If you'd like to know more about how to support this channel, go ahead and check out that link to Camaraderie, a cooperatively owned and operated Patreon alternative down below in the description. And a special thanks go out to the current supporter-level backers, Cade and Ryan, Y'all are helping me keep the lights on.